Fashion season is back, back, back again and New York Fashion Week featuring amazing and super talented designers such as Alaya, Ralph Lauren, Aria, Coach, Michael Kors, Off-White, Carolina Herrera, to mention but a few was life in the city of New York. And while we were really mesmerized by the various collections, we still kind of expected our favorite celebrities and superstars to turn the looks for this fashion shows. Now, while some of our fades showed up looking really fabulous, others just looked a hot boo-boo mess. So here are the top 10 worst dressed celebrities at New York Fashion Week 2024. Take a look. <laughs> First up on our wash dress list, check your lipstick before you come for her. We have the iconic supermodel diva Naomi Campbell. And for New York Fashion Week at the Bulgari Studio Party, she had on this black mesh satin midi dress by Ferragamo. And she was styled by the amazing Carlos Nazario. And I really don't know what I think about this look for like Fashion Week. I mean, I just did not love the look. The construction just seemed a bit lousy to me. And this look wasn't just really visually appealing to me. Now, just the way that the mesh goes into that satin fabric, then down into that mesh, just did not look exciting to say the least. I mean, it's fashion week. I'm going to need a lot more than a little black dress to really excite me. And this look by Naomi was just a tad bit too disappointing for me. I mean, I just kind of expected more from the icon, but I guess this look just gave me absolutely nothing. So yeah, this look by Naomi has to be a chop for me. Next up on our watch dress list, we have the beautiful Coco Jones. And for New York Fashion Week for the Loire Fashion Show, she had on this light grey top and blue leather pants by Loire. And she was styled by the incredible Maeve Riley. And no honey, this was just a hot boo-boo mess for me for sure. Now, I guess that Coco was kind of going for that street style sexy type look. But this look just did not seem elevated enough to me. Now, I actually did love the pants and I think that if she probably had paired that with something else, this look would have definitely been fire. But just pairing it with this top was just all the way off for me. Now, this look was giving me very wretched. It was giving me very tattered. It looked tacky. And I know Coco is definitely better than that. Yeah, like I said before, this is fashion week and I really just expected more from her. So yeah, this look by Coco definitely has to be a chop for me. Up next on our list, we have the legendary mega superstar Rihanna. And for New York Fashion Week at the Alaya Fashion Show, she had on this white corset top with a fishnet maxi jacket by Alaya. And I really do think the world of this queen. And like they always say, it is ugly until Rihanna wears it. However, this look still remained ugly even after she wore it. And it just looked a hot blithering mess for me. And I was just a bit gagged by that. I mean, what even is this look? I mean, it just looked like she had on fishnets, literally, without any form of like sewing or like stitching done to it. And that is always just a no-no for me. Now, this look in itself had no structure and it just felt really blasé to me. I also just did not love the top and just the way they were squashing her cha-chas. That just felt very undersized and inappropriate. And I really had to ask myself, am I even allowed to look at this side? I mean, those gladiator heels on the other hand were a no-no for me. That in itself was giving me very warrior before Christ. And while this would have been appropriate and really fabulous on the arena with lions, for fashion week, it was just a no-no for me. Her face card never declined, but this look was definitely not up to her standards, so it has to be a chop for me. Up next on our list, we have the super cutesy Catherine Newton. And for New York Fashion Week at the Coach Fashion Show, she had on this beige sweatshirt and a checkered pattern short dress by Coach. And I know I really talked about like Fashion Week being all about like the experimentation when it comes to like fashion pieces and how they could ultimately be styled. Well, I really just take that back because this look was definitely a failed fashion experiment when it comes to like the looks. I mean, I can't lie. This was just an ugly way of styling up this 
this look and I just wasn't really gagging. I mean, this sweater type shirt behind the dress was such a fashion crime that should never have happened in the first place and I'm shocked that it actually did happen. Now, let's even just come back to the dress in on itself. That looks really horrendous and questionable when it came to like the designs and it just looked like something a maid would wear to scrub the floors and I don't think that that is what she was going for. Her hair looks really thirsty up in here and the shoes just felt really clunky to me head to toe this look just wasn't doing it for me when it came to like fashion for fashion week so it has to be a chop for me up next on our list we have the super quirky aquafina and for new york fashion week she had on this horizontal stripes multi-color two-piece and this was just really disturbing to look at now first of all one fashion hack i'll always give to like petite people is to kind of stay away from clothing with like horizontal stripes because it can tend to make you look wider and shorter as opposed to like vertical stripes clothing that can really just create the illusion of like elongation and i think that is exactly what is going on with this look for sure i mean the stripes on this look doesn't really look flattering on aquafina to say the least and it just wasn't a visually you know pleasant sight to behold now she looks wider than she actually is and that doesn't seem good i also just did not love the patterns of the stripes as well as this you know crushed velvet type material that was used to create this look it was very distracting it did not give me the elevation that i needed for like a standout look and yeah this look just did not do it for me so yeah this look by aquafina definitely has to be a chop for me next up on our list we have the image architect to the stars law roach and for new york fashion week for the alaya show he had on this golden trench jacket and a pair of gray sweatpants and i love 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 law roach and i think he's an icon when it comes to like the art of styling but let's be so for real right now because what in the hell is this look i mean this look just feels really disjointed the pieces don't look good together and it just felt like a hot boo-boo mess for me now don't get me wrong that trench jacket looks really amazing and i think that he should have just paired that look with something more formal like you know a crepe pant or maybe even go leather but this gray sweatpants is just really taking me out of the fantasy it doesn't look good paired with that and it just doesn't feel like a coherent look i was a bit disappointed by law for this look so it has to be a chop for me up next on our list we have the beautiful iconic mary j blige and for new york fashion week she had on this gray snake skin printed trench jacket and a matching mini skirt and an inner black shirt and i don't know exactly what it is about this look but i just wasn't on board with this look visually i mean this is like a regular silhouette that we see people wear all the time but something just feels very off about this look on her now something about this look just feels very hoochie it feels very gangs of the hood and i definitely should not be talking about her because she might you know you know pull a one two on me right now i also don't know about these shoes the white is just really sticking out to me for all the wrong reasons and i just feel like there was a disconnect with like the top part and the bottom part of this look overall i just wasn't leaving for this look so it's gonna be a chop for me up next on our list we have the super eclectic jojo siwa and for new york fashion week for the Kristen cohen fashion show she had on this black furry look and a pair of neon green boots by Kristen Cohen. And this look was just not my cup of tea when it comes to like the fashion for like fashion week. I mean, I don't get what this look was supposed to be. It just felt very costumey and not fashion. And that will always be a no-no for me. Maybe Halloween really came early this year. Maybe she's cosplaying being a monster. But this look was just not visually appealing to me now the proportions of this looks are way off those boots were really monstrous and no pun intended and yeah this look was just not for me so yeah this look by jojo has to be a chop for me next up on our list we are definitely not matching her freak in this look we have the stunning stunning tinashe 
And for the Tommy Hilfiger fashion show, she had on this vertical striped t-shirt and a black mini skirt by Tommy Hilfiger and the basic baroness has just arrived the premises. I mean, this look just doesn't feel very fashion week worthy to me. An oversized shirt and a mini skirt is just not going to cut it for me at this point. I mean, this was giving me very wannabe fashionista in like 2013 and that just did not feel really elevated enough for me love 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 tinashe i think she's amazing but this look was just a bit mediocre to me so yeah this look by tinashe has to be a chop for me finally on our wash dress list we have the beautiful greta lee and for new york fashion week at the lueve dinner she had on this black midi dress by lueve and i'm so bored i mean this is just a no for me it's black it's basic it's boring it does nothing for our proportions and it's just very disappointing at this point for fashion week this look is giving me absolutely nothing so i'm going to give it absolutely nothing back this look has to be a chop for me all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i shared with you guys my top 10 wash dress celebrities at new york fashion week 2024 if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i would definitely catch you guys in the next one but for now it is bye for now au revoir